good day second farmers today's topic as I promised you last week we will be discussing briefly how elections are conducted on St. Martin now there's a lot of information about how elections are conducted so I'm gonna do this as simple as possible I'm not going to overburden you with too much information but a basic understanding elections are supposed to be held on St. Martin every four years. That's number one. Number two, before elections are held, there is a day that our political parties have to submit their list of candidates to the Electoral Council. And that day is postulation day. It's also called nomination day. Now the Electoral Council is an independent body it's not part of the government of St. Martin. It, makes, it ensures or makes sure that political parties follow electoral ordinances. And ordinances is another word for rules or regulations. And there is more information about the electoral form in class discussions because I have included a lot of information for our students to understand this topic carefully. Now, after postulation day, a couple days later, we have elections. And some of the things I will tell you about elections is elections is normally starts at 8 a.m. and it ends at 8, it ends at 8 p.m. And the, the places where persons go and vote, they are called polling stations. And the poll, we have about 20 polling stations. The last couple election cycles, we've had about 20 polling stations. So that's where persons go and vote. You have to, when you go to the polling station, you have to present either your ID or your passport. And when you go to the polling stations, there is a desk with some persons there. And when you present your ID, your first and last name is called. And then you go behind the booth where there's a curtain and there's supposed to be, there's a, and you go and make your vote on the ballot. And the ballot is the piece of paper that you write down on who you want to vote for. So you look for the political party and you write, you take a red pen and you take off next to the person's name. Now, if you don't, if you don't vote, if you cast a blank vote and if you write something else on the ballot that's inappropriate it's considered an invalid vote and nothing on that vote as well is called a blank vote so you have that situation and then once the person finished cast their vote they exit the polling station and there's some other things you have to know about the poll you have to know about the elections is after the elections there's about three days after the elections the votes are validated by the Central Voting Bureau, which is another independent body that makes sure the elections is done smoothly. And that independent body also has some functions pertaining to the elections, which I have included inside of your class discussion. Now, the, the notes on the Electoral Council and how elections are conducted on St. Martin and what's the function of the central voting bureau they are there in quick schools discussion you need to copy those notes put them into a microsoft word document and save them because we're going to have a test like i told you before several times that we're going to have a test in the month of october around the third or fourth week on everything we have done so far in the term so i have presented you some information about elections some basic information. One more thing I would like to tell you is if the elections takes place and for example if you're working and you're working hours, if you finish work after the elections is finished at 8 p.m., you are allowed to have up to two hours to go and vote. So that's some of the things you need to know about the elections and you will see more information in class discussion today with the assignment that will explain you more information, additional information, and you also have vocabulary that can tell you the meanings of the terminology that we use for elections. And this is the first introduction into it. Thank you for listening.